Hi Stampers, welcome to Kelly's Stamp Above page. It's Steve here tonight, and the reason I came on is I just want to thank all of you for the happy birthday wishes. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me and my wife. And I want you all to know that the only thing she likes better than you guys is my cooking. So, right here, I am representing whatever side that is. There it is. Yeah. Stamp above. Okay. Hey, cheers to all the birthday wishes. See that? Stamp above cup. Ooh, I bet you wish you knew what was in there. Ah. Anyway, uh, tonight we have a special. If you join Kelly's team as a discount shopper, you will get a mini cutter, which I have one, and I trim cheese for all the dishes I cook for her. You will get a sampler packet of paper and pick a good one and any stamp set of your choice. What a deal. She loves you guys. And thanks again for all the happy birthday wishes. And I hope you and your families have a wonderful week. Have a good night. Kelly loves you. So do I. Okay, guest appearance. What did you think of that? <laughs> Yeah, he wanted to thank you for all the birthday wishes that you guys gave him. He reads them all, so it was really quite cute. And um, speaking of, he had his crown on. I forgot to put mine on. So, let me get this on. Is it straight? Nope, there we go. Straight? It feels crooked. Let me try it again. There we go. So, who was watching the Packer game? We're getting our butts kicked, aren't we? Yeah, but you know... Aaron Rodgers is always kind of the comeback king, so we got our fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. How is everybody tonight? I am doing good. We had a good week here. Um, let's see. What happened this week? Well, last night, you guys saw my picture. We were out last night. We went down to Oshkosh, which isn't very far away, but um, Steve's high school friends live south of Oshkosh and we live north of Oshkosh. So we met in Oshkosh, stayed at a hotel, had hors d'oeuvres, went out to eat, and then, you know, just sit around and the guys yak about their olden days in high school. It's really quite fun. But all three of them have birthdays in January, so it's really a lot of fun to get together. And sometimes we only see them once a year. So it's been a tradition since I've been with Steve, which is 20-some years. And um, I really enjoy it. What else happened? Um, let's see. I wanted to tell you about, oh, I know. I've been talking a lot lately about eating chocolate and I love, I love candy. I'm a sweet hound. And you guys know that I lost a whole bunch of weight. I lost 47 pounds in the not so far away. How do I want to say that? Um, Earlier last year, that's a good way to say it. And so then I've been talking about all this stuff that I've been eating. And as I was talking with my weight loss coach, Bev, she's wonderful. Um, she goes, yeah, you might want to update people. How are you doing? Because I'm just talking about eating the chocolates and the caramels and the goodies that some people send me. And um, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I came through the holidays and didn't gain a pound. Like, I'm sure I fluctuated up and down because I was eating. And it seems like I kick-started my metabolism back to what it was before I turned 50. And I have it running good again. And I'm kind of eating like normal. I don't eat big meals, like three big meals a day. But I might have breakfast and then I'll have, um, when I get hungry later, I'll have a yogurt. And then maybe I'll have 
a half a sandwich and then I'll eat Steve's supper that he makes and um, I haven't gained any weight back. So just wanted to give you guys an update because I haven't said anything about it and I've been talking about eating a lot of sweets and I thought maybe some people would be like, oh, I wonder if she's gaining all that weight back. And I'm not. <laughs> Knock on wood. So I've been pretty good, and um, but I am eating right. I'm I'm like eating normal again. I'm not dieting or trying to lose weight now. So it's pretty cool. And I have really exciting news. So Steve and I have been looking at taking a vacation, and the fact that we can get up and go in a fairly short period of time, like I don't have to put in for vacation because like I'm the boss, and of course I'm going to approve my own vacation. And he's retired, so we just booked a trip. We are going on a cruise on February 1st, and we're going to hit up, we're leaving out of Galveston, Texas. We're going to hit up um, Cozumel, Belize, and Roatan. So we're so excited because I like really need a vacation and he really needs to get out of this cold weather. So we're going to go someplace really warm. I'm excited. I'm going to try to get together a Facebook Live, not live for you guys, so that you will still have your Sunday night fun. And I was hoping the Packers were going to win this playoff game so that we can watch the Super Bowl with the Packers in it on a cruise ship. How cool would that be, right? <laughs> yeah, so... If you can book a cruise at the last minute, like we're leaving in two weeks. If you can book a cruise at the last minute, they're really, really inexpensive. And um, check that out because I was shocked. And then airfare right out of my tiny airport here is usually really expensive. Um, if you drive to Milwaukee, it's cheaper. Chicago, obviously, much cheaper. But... We got airline tickets for less than $400 a piece going right out of our little tiny airport here in Appleton, Wisconsin. So we're super excited about going on this trip. And um, yeah, what else did I want to talk to you guys about? I have prizes to give out. Of course, oh, let me get my little brochure out here. Hang on, I've got catalogs everywhere, paper trimmers everywhere. Uh, celebration is in full swing. If you're stamping up, customer you know that this is going on but I've had some people I want to make you guys aware had some people that have missed that are missing out on this right now for every fifty dollars that you spend you get a free item out of this brochure and I see some orders coming in once in a while that are like forty eight fifty oh my gosh order a bottle of glue you'll definitely use it get over that $50 mark and get yourself something free. It makes me cringe when I see somebody miss that next level or they put in an order for $99. You only needed one more dollar. Order some glue, get another free celebration item. So please be aware of that. I just want everybody to be aware of that because once you close your order out, there's nothing we can do about that. And um, <laughs> Jean says prizes are good. Pick me. I will do my best, Jean. <laughs> yeah, and Jackie says she needs to do a, a last-minute cruise. You do if you're close to Tampa. Oh, my gosh, you don't even have the airfare involved. I'm telling you, um, some of these cruises we were looking at, it was like $2.99 a person because they're trying to fill that ship up at the last minute. So if you can do that, it's a great deal. And Steve and I love cruises. Like, because we get to go on them all the time with Stampin' Up, um, well, every year, I should say, I earn the Stampin' Up cruise or trip every year. We've come to love cruises. We love being able to go to all different places on one vacation. And then on our way back from, we go we go from Galveston to uh, Cozumel to Belize and then Roatan. And then we spend two days on the ship coming back to Galveston. And I think that's going to be like... Usually, you know, there's another stop someplace or they spread it out more so you don't have two days at sea. I think I'm going to love that because it's just going to be total relaxation. You will find me by the pool with a foo-foo drink in my hand reading my Kindle. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing. So anyways, I just want to let you know, don't miss out on Celebration. For every $50 you spend, you get a free item. And I hate to see people come super close and then miss the mark. All right, 
I have some really good projects for you tonight. I'm using some um, new products, so that's fun. I'm also using, oh, I have to use the meerkats again because like, why wouldn't you, <laughs> right? Yeah, and what else can I tell you? I have cards that I received this week, so I have to share with you. Uh, this beauty comes to me from Susie Fonder. Look at how pretty that is. This is the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. It is a, You can get a free pack of this during celebration. So way to go, Susie. This is beautiful. And then Susie knows that we, I have a summer home. And um, for those of you that may be new, I bought a summer home a couple years ago. And you're thinking, ooh, summer home, that's fancy. Yeah, it's a camper. But I just call it my summer home because, well, that's fancy. And um, Susie and her husband also have a summer home. So she sent me this cute Christmas card just so I could see their fun that they're having with their summer home. And uh, this was their Christmas card, putting Christmas lights on their summer home. So I thought that was super cute and it gave me quite a giggle. So thank you, Susie, I appreciate that. And then I got a card from Pat Perrin. Look at how pretty this is. Now, this is one of the free celebration items. Look at that embossing folder. Can you see that detail on there? It is gorgeous. This is in the, it's the last, uh, page 15. This is called the Power of Hope Bundle. So you get the stamp set and the embossing folder with your $100 order. You get two items. So this is a bundle. And look at how pretty that is. Holy cow, Pat, you knocked it out of the park with this puppy. And I was really appreciative to have this card. And then she put on the inside, no one will ever be as entertained by us as us. Thanks for the laughs. <laughs> You're welcome, Pat. I thought that was pretty appropriate, right? And what was Pat's little note? Um, okay, I read that. I do read all of this stuff, you guys. So that was a personal note to me. So I'll just keep that. And then just today my mail came. And I got um, a card from Angie Fairburn. And Angie is from Victoria, Australia. And I got a card from her recently. And I said Victoria, Canada. And then I'm like, is it Canada or Australia? Or Because we were in Victoria, Canada. <laughs> um, Australia is on my bucket list. So I've never been there. But anyways, I wanted to share this card with you. Look at how cute that is. Yeah, this is from Angie Fairburn from Australia. And she's going to send the knitted items when she's finished. I think you remember we talked about her knitting some stuff for, I think, the baby. So I'm excited to see those. Yeah. And of course, it was, um, I shouldn't say of course, it was a thank you card for sharing all my ideas. And then, <gasps> look what came in the mail. Oh, my! I just untied the bow when I pulled it out. How beautiful is this? This is using that gorgeous, gorgeous poppy suite. This is a um, one of our note cards, and I got this from Shannon West. She is um, the demonstrator development manager for my region from Stampin' Up. And she sent me this card along with a gift for my time that I spent on the demonstrator council. So in December, my demonstrator council, um, inter I don't know what you want to call it, position or I was appointed. Um, that was up in December. So she's sending me a beautiful, beautiful thank you card. I love that poppy suite. You guys know that I did an online class with that. And as long as I'm on the poppy suite, uh, Peaceful Moments is the bundle that we used. And I have... I just got all the pre-cut cardstock packs for the online class out in the mail on Saturday. You guys saw the picture of Jared. And some people wondered how I had the mailman's phone number. He's my son-in-law. <laughs> That's Haley's husband, and he's the sweetest. I tracked him down. I texted him and said, hey, I need to get this out in the mail today. The post office are, is already closed. Can I find you and give it to you? He's like, yeah, come find me. So I did. But anyways, I cut a bunch of extra pre-cut cardstock packs. So if you would still like to purchase that online class with the cardstock pack, I do have some extras. Um, and as soon as I run out of them, then the cardstock pack just won't be available anymore. But I wanted to let you guys know that I still have those. You can go to my blog, www.astampabove.com. And in the right-hand column is an online class button. Click in there and go order the online classes if you would like them. Now, back to Shannon's gift. Look what she sent me. K 
Kelly. It's it's um, personalized and it is a felt cover. And I thought this was so very unique. And it is a um, a notebook. Like, isn't it cool? But she got it personalized. So everybody on the demonstrator council got one of these with that gorgeous card. I was super excited because I'm like, oh! And she wrapped it in a paper pumpkin box <laughs> because they make great boxes, right? So I thought that was really pretty. I have to make sure that I keep that handy and keep these cards handy too. I should put some of these up here to decorate. Um, I've had several people ask me about that framed art right there. And if you go back on my blog as of last year, I think in January, I actually have a video and all the instructions to show you how to make that. It's, um, it's a sampler, they're called, and they're very popular, and it's a great way for you to use your stamping talents to make more than cards. So, yeah. Oh, I better leave this open so I don't forget that I have to, I have a gift in there. And then I'll put these cards over here too. Then we have prizes. So, thank you guys so much for sharing this video. If you click that share button right now, you can share it on Facebook. And I do appreciate that. That's what keeps me getting a wider audience, which is fabulous because it's great for my business, right? Um, and then for uh, sharing the video this week, I have a pair of our paper snips. And every once in a while, I get some new paper snips because I'm lazy. Some people keep their paper snips and they just cut paper with one pair and ribbon with another so that you don't get them dull because paper, they get dull and then ribbon, you can't cut it as good. But um, I'm really lazy, and I just can't deal with all that. Like, my scissors get used for everything. I don't care what it is. And so every once in a while, I just get myself a new pair. And I thought, I bet you guys could use a new pair of paper snips too, right? So for sharing my video last week, Jane Gaffney of Baraboo, Wisconsin, is going to get these new paper snips in the mail. Now, I have to warn you, Jane. These are super, super pointy, and they're very, very sharp, and I have stamped myself, and you will bleed. So, don't do that. <laughs> do not poke or stab yourself or cut yourself with them, but I will get these out in the mail. Now, tomorrow's Martin Luther King Day, so we're celebrating that. Our post office, Jared, <laughs> gets a day off, which is wonderful, and um, I'll get these out in the mail to you on Tuesday. And then for leaving a comment. Also, if you're new here, please leave a comment in the comment section. That way you get entered into um, a drawing to win stuff. And if you don't leave a comment, once the live video is over, I don't know that you were ever here. So make sure you're leaving comments. I have a pack of the Peaceful Poppies elements to give away. These are fabulous. They go along with the Poppy Suite, which is that card that Shannon gave me. Here, let me grab it. Did I put it back there? No. I did not. Where is it? Here it is. I don't want my crown to fall off, right? Did you like Steve's happy birthday crown? You guys know that I keep that on my bear mount up the stairs. <laughs> my bear wears it year round so I can find it when it's my birthday on July 7th. I wear that all day long, no matter where I go or what I do. So if I'm out running errands, I have that happy birthday tiara on. And it's really funny the amount of people that will look at you. They'll give you a second, like, they'll look at you and they'll look at the crown and they'll look at you and then they'll just, you know, go about their business. And I'm sitting there going, seriously? Like, you can't say, hey, happy birthday. Lots of people do, but a lot of people don't. And I think that that's just kind of how our society is getting very standoffish, right? So if I ever see you wearing a happy birthday tiara, I will definitely tell you happy birthday. <laughs> okay, back to our prizes. Squirrel. Um, here is the card that Shannon made. And look at how nice that would go with the poppies. So these are all die cut. There's all kinds of die cut elements in here. Um, these are stickers. Some of them just are die cuts, but they are fabulous. And my February online class is going to be using these for the online class. It is part of the bundle of products that I will be making available to you when you order option one for the online class. But we're going to be doing some really cool things with these. I love them. So winner. Let's get back to winner. The winner is Lana 
Tabano from Willow Wick, Ohio. You're going to get a pack of these perennial poppies elements. So thank you very much. And that is for leaving a comment last week. Okay. Um, who said, trust me, you won't. I missed something. <laughs> um, oh, I see Mary Olson's here too. The Packers need you to put your cheese head on. Oh, I wish I had a cheese head. I don't have one. But you guys, look at, I have my Packer shirt on. I am representing the Packers tonight. And look at my cute earrings. I'm thinking that will help. Right now the score is 0 to 27. The 49ers are kicking their butt. Ugh. Rodgers is the comeback king. So we need a few Hail Marys. Take care of this mess. <laughs> okay. For placing orders last week, everybody that places an order with me in my online store or through my stamp clubs, um, I have this Label Me Bold stamp set. And I have one of these, so I'll be using this soon. So I'll give you some great ideas with it. But I love all the little background elements in here. And then these words are super cool because they leave the word... Um, like white and then the outline of it is colored and I kind of love that look. So the winner of this for placing an order last week is Letha Welch from Sunnyville, California. Congratulations to Letha, to Lana, and also to Jane. I will get these out on Tuesday. So yes, yes, Terry, you do have to get a birthday crown. Everybody should wear one. Like, I'm serious. I wear it all day long on my birthday. It's like a thing. And then Haley's birthday is July 1st, so I make sure I get the crown to her so she has to wear it all day long, too. <laughs> it's so much fun. Like, life is full of all kinds of crud, isn't it? Why not have a great time with it? When it's my birthday, it is my birthday, and I'm going to celebrate that stuff. Okay. Um, I think, oh, one more thing I wanted to tell you. Um, I had some people this week ask me some questions. My technique club requires a minimum $25 order once a month between the 1st and the 25th. And you need to use the host code and then you get, um, let me see if I can find it right here. This is what everybody got last month. They got, um, this 3D heart card, and then also you get a sample of the technique with instructions. So everybody gets this if you're in my technique club. Now, I've had a lot of people asking me questions, like they just bought my online class with the bundle. Now with that, you get an online class. Um, you get all the products in there for the price that you pay. So you're getting the online class for free when you buy the bundle of products from me. That's great, right? Plus you're getting the pre-cut cardstock pack as a bonus. They're asking me if that order counts towards their technique club. And the answer is no. That would be double dipping. So I would be giving you all this free plus that stuff free in an online class. So I just wanted to clarify that all these things are separate. You can do them all. I love it when you do them all. But I just wanted to let you know that when you're, when you're ordering an online class, it doesn't count towards the technique club. So just want to make sure that you understand that. And yeah, Sharon's in my online club. Sharon, do you love being in the online club? Yeah, it's a technique club, and it's a lot of fun. If you'd like information on that, again, on my blog, www.astampabove.com, in the right-hand column, you'll find out all about the technique club. And it is online, so it's not someplace you have to be. Will I be doing a Parisian class? Susan, that is a great question. I do not have that on my schedule, but I'm thinking that I will. Right now, I... I had set up January and February, but I haven't gone any further than that. So I'm thinking I will be doing a Parisian class. So, but I don't know yet. I really need to sit down and figure out my schedule, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Are we ready to stamp? Um, what am I going to do? Oh, I have this cute, cute, cute little simple project to share with you today or tonight. And then we'll get into the cards. But I think you're going to love this. Oh, I hope I didn't bend that. I didn't. Sure hate it when that happens, but I'm just going to get everything unloaded here. Um, 
I was actually chatting with my friend Lori from Michigan. She's another Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I was chatting with her tonight, or earlier today, I should say. And um, she shared a really cute little project that she made. And I'm like, oh my gosh, can I use that for my Facebook Live? And she's like, you bet you can. So that's where this came from. We got home from the hotel today and I started um, figuring out what I was going to do for tonight. And I know some people that might give you hives, but I tend to fly by the seat of my pants. You know this about me. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be using the uh, From My Heart Specialty Designer Series paper for a really quick and cute little project. So hang tight. I am going to now turn my camera around so we can start stamping. So if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'll tell you when you can open them. And most of the time I forget to tell you that, but when I start yakety yakking, you know you can open your eyes, right? All right, hang tight, close the eyes. I'll let you guys see my new ceiling fan. Ah! Yeah, Steve, he replaced it while I was gone to Oshkosh last weekend. So that was awesome. And let's get this all straight. Oh, I need to mirror my screen again, so hang tight. Make sure I don't touch anything that turns everything off. Done that before, too. Some of you might have been here with me when I did that. It was pretty dumb. Okay, you can open your eyes. All right, we're good. Okay, I also still need to bring you up on the screen here. So I didn't do that yet. Hang on. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh, things are falling. What was that? I don't even know. I am drinking my strawberry lemonade, which I love. It is part of my Optavia program. And in case you can't tell, it has caffeine in it. <laughs> That's how I'm like, Bruh. yeah, I really do need the caffeine though, because I love it. So um, I'm just going to use one tiny little stamp in here from the Heartfelt stamp set. Now you can get this stamp set with this punch pack. Both of these punches come as a bundle and you save 10% when you order all of it. So I really do love having these punches. Like heart punches, I think, are my favorite. You can use them any time of year. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. I've made birthday cards with hearts on them. Um, you can make them other colors, right? Oh, I see unsweetened iced tea. Did the Packers do anything yet? Ah, uh, yes, touchdown, yay! Okay, back to class. <laughs> I was super excited about that. I am going to try to find my paper cutter. Hang on, I don't know what I did with it. Paper trimmer, here it is. Okay, here's my paper trimmer. And we're gonna do just a tiny bit of scoring here. I've got a piece of real red cardstock, and this is eight and a half, ooh, um, I should say it is, hang on, hang on, hang on. Three and a quarter by seven and three eighths. It's not eight and a half. It's three and a quarter by seven and three eighths. And then the other thing that I want to let you know is when I'm done with my Facebook Live tonight, I will type up all of these dimensions for each of my projects and I will put them above the video because you can go back and watch this video. Some of you came on late and missed Steve's introduction. He actually introduced our stamping class tonight. It was kind of amusing, I think. So make sure you go back to the beginning if you missed all that crazy. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of scoring on the long side here. We're gonna score this at three and an eighth, three and a half, three and seven eighths. And I think we're done with that now. I can't forget about that thing I'm gonna show you. Okay. So we're gonna, let me get a bone folder here. Oh, here we go. Ooh, I see peppermint tea. Mmm, Diet Coke. I used to be a Coke fan, like the soda, not the other stuff. Just say no to drugs. I wanna make that perfectly clear. Um, <laughs> but I used to um, be a Coke fan. Growing up, I always drank Coke. And then I went on a diet when I was in my early 20s and I lost like 30 pounds. And um, when I went off the diet, then I started drinking Pepsi instead. I didn't like Coke anymore. It was very weird. Okay, so we just folded on all of these score lines. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here. Well, I think I'm going to do it in the middle. I'm going to come into the, well, not quite the middle, because we're going to make a little slit here, kind of in the middle. I think I didn't do that very good in the middle, but whatever. Okay, and then you're going to take this. 
and push this part out. I'll show you in just a second. Hang on. There we go. Just like that, okay? So we just kind of pushed that little part out there. And this is the way this is going to turn out. I'm gonna grab my tear and tape because I think that's gonna be our best bet. Tear and tape is your friend until you stick something down that you really didn't want stuck down. And then it's your worst nightmare and enemy. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to put on the side, like you can see that this is bigger than this, right? So here's our score lines. This is bigger than this. So on the side that's bigger, on this tab in between, oh, look at I ran it over a little bit. Hang on. I'm going to cut off some of this. There we go. You don't want that to be on that little tab in the middle that we just pushed out, okay? So hang with me and I'll show you exactly what I mean here in a second. So now I'm going to take a little bit more tear and tape, put it right down here. You don't want it going off the ends because that's just going to make everything look really crummy. Okay, there we go. And then if you have trouble getting these backings off, use your take your pick tool. If you don't have a take your pick tool, order one. They are the best thing ever. Like I am using this thing constantly. It's as, it's as important to me as my, as my glue is, like seriously. Okay. Now you're going to fold that over. So, whoops, hang on. You want to keep this little thing out there. We're going to decorate this a little bit. I have some of that From My Heart Designer Series paper. And if you're, if you're joining me tonight and you haven't seen this before, um, Peggy, what's happening? You said question. Can we keep it on card making only? What's going on? Do we have a troll tonight? I don't know. Um, let me know because I'm watching these comments now. That's weird. That's a, that's an odd comment. Okay, so from my heart specialty designer series paper, and you can see the foil in here as I tip it in the light. This is so, so beautiful. I've got a piece of the designer series paper. I'm going to use the stripe side, and it is three and an eighth by three. And you got to make sure, do this before you glue it down so you know which way to put it. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Linda. Hi, Sarah. I am happy to see you guys on tonight. I know that a couple of you are Packer fans. So, yeah, I'm, I got the game playing in the background here. Is that right? Nope. I think I did it wrong anyways. Nope, that was right. Okay. I'm going to just add this to the front cover here, okay? So this is what we've got so far. Then I took a scrap of real red paper, and I'm punching out the scalloped. Oh, you know what I just did? I cut the end. Look at I cut the end right off of my, my heart. Let's try that again. I had another piece out here, so I've got this. This is good. And then remember the doilies? We have these doilies. They're heart doilies. You get a pack of 40 of them. You get 20 flirty flamingo and 20 real red. And I am going to, it doesn't matter which one you grab here because we're going to use the white side. And that's one of the neat things about this product is you can use the color. You can use the flirty flamingo or the real red. Or you can turn it over and use it as a white doily. Or you can sponge color on here and make it any color that you want. So I'm going to add my glue to the back and I'm going to put this right in the middle and that's already super cute, right? Then I'm going to take let me move this stuff out of the way. This paper has the foil hearts in it and I'm going to grab my real red ink pad. And then I've got this tiny little heart here. And I'm going to bring that right into the middle of this heart. And then we're going to cut that out with the regular heart, not the scalloped one, but the regular one. And I need to trim just a little bit off the bottom here so I can get my punch all the way in there. But this punch fits in on all of these. And you can see, oh, it's going to be just a tiny bit. Let me see if I can get it in here the right way. It's just a little short on one side. I cut it a little close over here. I think I did it. 
Look at that. The dots go all the way around the outside. So you can punch this paper out with the regular heart punch, or you can punch it out with the scalloped heart punch. Okay, here comes our little heart. We're going to, <clears throat> excuse me, that's the bad heart. This is the good heart. We are going to add our flirty flamingo foil heart to that heart. And then I think I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back. So hang on, I gotta find, here's my dimensionals. I love these things. And they just do a lot for your projects. And I'm gonna put this right in the middle of this. Now, what is this thing for? Well, I was shopping and I found, hang on, I'm trying to scroll my screen up. I never did see if Peggy said anything about what was going on. I found these cute little Valentine post-it notes in the Valentine aisles at Walmart. And I thought, how sweet would this be in a post-it note holder? So that's what I am making. And I'm probably going to have lunch with one of my friends this week because I do like to go out for lunch <laughs> a lot. And I am going to add some tear and tape. Whoops, I went over again. I'm really good at that. Hang on, my nose itches. There we go. Yeah. Denise says she's she, um, she likes that we have so many punches that work with our designer paper and our dies, too. So that's really cool. I like it also. Oops. Okay, so we're going to pull this off. And make sure you push it down good so that when you go to pull this off, you don't pull the whole thing off because that's kind of defeating the purpose, right? <laughs> that's not how we want this to go. Okay, now Sharon says now she needs to go to Walmart. I know. I'm sorry, Sharon. This is stinking adorable. Okay, so I'm going to butt that up against the spine over here and then make sure that I'm getting it in here right. Look at how cute it is. And then... Look at these tiny little gel pens. I have a whole box of them. And my friend Lori asked me today where I got them. I have no idea. But you can get stuff like this at the dollar store. Little pens like this. And I had this box in my closet. It's probably four or five years old. It was $2.50. Look at that. So I have no, maybe the dollar spot at Target. But look at how cute that is. Yeah. So now we have a little pen and a little post-it note holder. Isn't that sweet? And then, while I was digging in my closet, I ran across these. And these are mechanical pencils that are Valentine pencils that, again, I don't know where they're from. Probably the dollar spot at Target a couple years ago. They're not recent, but you can find these any place. The other thing that you can do is you can um, get Valentine pencils, like at Walgreens, and you can, like, break them in half and then sharpen them so that they're smaller like this. And they'll fit in here also. So what do you guys think? Is that not the cutest little project? Yeah. So again, I will have all the measurements on here for this so that you can recreate it. Super cute. Now, it will also work. These are just regular, um, these are regular post-it notes, okay? So it's the same size. These Valentine ones are pretty universal in size. So, yay! Okay, I just wanted to share that with you because Lori made some and they were so stinking adorable. I thought, oh, I bet you everybody would love to see these. All right. Yes, I see Diane says she can see making those for her granddaughter's um, class. And yeah, absolutely. That's a great idea. Get all the stuff out of the way here. Let me clean my stamp before I throw it in there and get ink all over everything. If you guys don't have one of these chamois, it is the best stamp cleaner ever. I love it. Love it, love it. I use it for all my stamp cleaning. Okay. Put this away and this away and I'll use... Oh, no, that's the one with the end busted off. I don't want that. I don't want to give anybody a bad heart. <laughs> okay. That was weird. All right, next... Let's see. What should we do next? I think somebody, and I can't remember who, I'm really sorry. You guys know that I have the worst memory. Somebody asked me 
to make a gift card holder that I showed you guys last week with the meerkats. So I aim to please and that is what we are going to do. So I'm going to get out all my things here. Let me set this over to the side. And you could, well, I'll talk about this in a little bit. Okay, here's all my pieces and parts. Get my cheat sheet up there. Take a drink. Oops, hang on. Linda says, thanks for the idea, Kelly. I love doing other things than just cards. I know, right? I love making other things. I love making cards. Please don't get me wrong. Like, that's my favorite thing to do. But I love doing other things with all these products that I have. They're fantastic. And you can do just the cutest things, especially like treat holders. I love doing treat holders. Here's my little um, calendar. This is a little easel calendar. This is also on my blog. We made this back in December, I think, on Facebook Live. You'll find a video when we're done here if you go to the video tab on my Facebook page. But I love making these types of things for people, for myself, for whoever. Okay, let's get busy here. This is a fairly simple card. It looks like it's complicated, but you guys know when I tell you that it's not, it really isn't. I decided to combine the mirror, the Gangs All Mirror with the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. Now I have to tell you guys, this paper matches so many things. It's very trendy on the colors that we're using. And I see the San Francisco 49ers just got another touchdown. <laughs> Boo! Sorry, 49er fans, but this girl wants Packers to win. And I'm wearing my earrings. Like, what is going on? <laughs> okay, so um, this is one of our celebration selections. This is the metallic baker's twine and sequin combo. And this matches this whole color scheme for the birthday bonanza, too. So I love that Stampin' Up! is very trendy with their colors. So we have a lot of things across the board. We also have this ruched ribbon, which is part of the birthday bonanza um, suite of products. And I'm going to throw in the gang's all mirror because, because they're stinking adorable, right? Okay, here comes our card. Now, this piece of card stock is Coastal Cabana. It's four and a quarter by nine and three quarters. I'm going to bring my paper trimmer in. And if you guys are in the market for a new paper trimmer, this is, I highly recommend it. It's only $25 and I am loving this thing. We're just going to do a little bit of scoring on here. We're going to score this layer at three and a quarter and six and a half. Okay, so that's what we have so far. And I'm going to fold it in just a minute, so hang tight. Here and here. So you're going to fold it kind of like a Z fold. Get your bone folder out. If you guys don't have a bone folder, throw one of those on your order because you need one. Like we're stampers, we need to have bone folders. Okay, so, oh, I got something sticky on there. Here's my Coastal Cabana base. Now, I've got some scraps here. And I'm going to be, bring in a Whisper White scrap, a Bermuda Bay scrap, and a Grapefruit Grove scrap. Now, where did I get all these colors from? You guys, no, I got them right here. It's right on the back of your designer series paper. It tells you all the colors that coordinate with the suite. So that's what I'm using. The paper here, these are the coordinating colors. So that's how I choose what I'm designing with. And then I'm going to bring in... Um, my circle dies. Okay, so you get a whole pack of these and they're all nesting and there's regular circles and scallop circles. This is a great product. The squares, the ovals, and the circles, amazing. And I've got a, the, my smallest circle here, I'm going to die cut on white. Um, my next circle is going to be on the Grapefruit Grove, and then the last one is the Scalloped one, and I'm going to do that on Bermuda Bay. And of course, you guys know, through the magic of TV, I have already done that, so you don't have to sit and wait for me to crank that through the machine. Okay, we're going to bring in, where did my, oh, here's my mat. 
This is our piercing mat. I use it as my stamping surface. It's um, a perfect little stamping surface. And I'm going to grab my Memento ink and my Meerkats. So I'm going to stamp all these cute little guys on this little circle. Oh, perfect. Okay, close that back up. And then my favorite color to color these is our bronze Stampin' Blend marker. And I like, I'm just gonna color this middle guy. The swap card that I got that you asked me to show you um, only did the middle guy. And I thought, oh, that's kind of brilliant. If you wanna color them all and you like to color, you certainly can. I do like to color, but for the time on a video, I don't want you guys to fall asleep. So, the Packers have the ball right now. <laughs> I just looked at the TV to see what was going on. The score is still 7 to 34. Meh. That makes me sad. Okay, so there's my little meerkat dude. Then I've got a little scrap here. And I think I'm going to take, where's my Bermuda Bay ink? Oh, it's in a different bin. So... Maybe we'll go with Grapefruit Grove. That'll work fine. I'm going to do Grapefruit Grove, and I'm going to stamp one of these little party hats. Yay! And then, where's my snips? Right here. So, we don't have a punch or a die for this hat, but it's fairly easy to cut out. You just cut around the three edges of the triangle and then right around the little pom pom deal on the top. And I see I've got some tear and tape. Hang on, we don't want that sticking on there. Oh, it did anyways. Get that off of there. If you got that on your scissors, that'll make a mess. And then I'm just going to come up here and snip that side. Okay, here we go. Now, you could put this on a dimensional, but what I found is that I like them glued right on the head of the meerkat versus a dimensional. I don't know why, but I do. So there we go. Ha! Isn't he cute? He's adorable. Okay, here we go with some glue. We're going to glue the white layer to the grapefruit grove layer and then to the Bermuda Bay scallop layer. Now, one of the things, if you don't have a lot of supplies, this is one way, if you just have these layering circles, this is a great way to be able to bring your cards to a new level by stacking them with several layers. It's an easy thing to do. It just takes a little bit of time and you're die cutting, but it is easy to do. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring the rest of our layers in here. This is Grapefruit Grove, and it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I brought in this paper. This is our birthday bonanza. This is four by five and a quarter. And I think I want my balloons to be my background here. So I'm just gonna add some glue and put my balloons on this layer. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love that. And then this piece, we're gonna bring this piece back in here. And I'm going to, oh, I know, I wanted, I need to put this yellow ruched ribbon on here. So I'm just going to do a, what I like to call a faux bow. I'll put this right on here. And Judy, Judy Brown, you're a little late. So you have to make sure that you go back when I'm done and watch the beginning of the video. Steve was on here. <laughs> he was wearing a crown. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you. It was kind of amusing. Yeah. He was excited that he got to be on. And what do you guys think? Do you think I should have him, um, um, I think I would like to have him make a card for you guys. Do you guys think you would like that? Like, I think that would be kind of amusing. He is rather artistic. I have to say, that's always impressed me about him. He has really nice handwriting and he's pretty artistic. He's going to start getting into metal art. His dad was a big metal artist making like yard art out of old um, shovel ends and gears and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I have a lot of neat stuff that his dad made for me. He started doing that a little bit. But um, 
Yeah, I think I'd like to have him do a little stamping for you guys. I think that would be kind of fun. <laughs> I think he would like it too. Anything to keep him out of trouble, right? Yeah, he doesn't get in too much trouble. Okay, so there's our ruched ribbon, and that just makes a faux bow. I think this one's just a little bit too long. Oops. I got that, that um, tear and tape on there. And then we're going to bring this in and add it right there. Now, one thing that I was going to do and I forgot is maybe to stamp something around on this background of Grapefruit Grove. By the way, this is um, three by four. Uh, like the hats, you could stamp the little party hats in Grapefruit Grove. Could I still do that? I think mm, I got that ribbon on there. I don't want to chance it, but stamp a little background, add a little interest there. I'm just going to put my meerkats on here. And I got a smudge, there we go, a little smudge of glue there. Isn't that cute? Super, super cute. Then we have this white layer, and this is also um, three by four. Whoops, I should say three by four. And I am going to, I had what she asked, What? oh, you're asking about this? This is shrink plastic. Remember when we had that stamp set that was the shirt? This is um, a shrinky dink and it's on a keychain charm. And that's just, if I go someplace and stamp like to a demonstrator event and I take these stamps, I know that these are mine. So it's just a little indicator that those are mine. They can't see you. Steve is in here right now. They cannot see you because they're looking at me stamping. Look at, I got red all over myself again. Okay. I have a little strip of the designer series paper and this is the candles. So what I kind of thought about doing, this is cut at like one inch or three quarters or something like that, was just to take and cut off that little tiny spot on the top. Did you hear him? He came in here and he closed my door because I'm too loud. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> I just cut that little bit off and because I'm mounting this on white cardstock, I, I think it's kind of neat looking. It was something that I thought about and I'm like, can I do that? Will that look okay? I think that looks pretty good. And I just broke my golden rule. Don't ever glue anything on until you have your stamping done. So stamp this first and I'm going to, happy birthday, oh, it worked. Okay, so if I would have done it crooked or did something wrong, I've already glued that on. Don't glue anything on until you're done stamping. So I've got this part we're gonna put right down here. And, oh my gosh, Sue just said I had 507 people watching me. That is crazy. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it because that really does help me out a lot. That means that you guys are sharing my video and you can do it right now. You can share my video. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so how are we doing so far? Isn't that cute? This is our final piece. And for this one, I'm gonna use the presents instead of the balloons. And I've got my one and three quarter inch punch here. And I'm going to just put this in the middle and punch out just a little bit less than half of a circle. Now you have to be careful here and only put your glue on the very edge because this is going to be a gift card holder. And I'm trying to remember who made this card originally. Um, it might be Mindy Gray. I want to make sure that I let you guys know. Uh, well, I changed a few colors on this. I did not design this particular card, but I do have another card using the um, lilies that I made a few weeks ago. I'm going to use these to do a gift card holder with the same layout. I'm, I'm going to wait a little while before I post that though, because otherwise it'll just look like I'm doing the same stuff, right? I don't want that to happen. Okay, so where did my gift, oh, I've got a gift card here, and your gift card will fit right in there. You want to make sure that you get really, really close to the outside edges when you put that glue on there. Is this not so cute? Yeah. And then we're going to fold, whoops, we're going to fold this up in an accordion. You're going, I think I'm going to use tear, well, I think glue will work. I was going to say tear and tape or glue for this part. And then you're just going to put this in the middle of this card base with the designer paper on it. What do you guys think? Ah, yeah. Marilyn said her grandson's birthday is Thursday. Wouldn't this be sweet? Look at how cute that is. 
and that's your card and it's a gift card holder now if you have your own business or something you could make a real pretty card like this and you could put your business card in here or if you don't want to give a gift card in the birthday card you could just put a um, layer a piece of white cardstock and put your note in here you know so happy you're my brother or you're so happy you're my sister or my friend or whatever but yeah isn't that sweet so this was the original card and oh yeah Mindy Gray made this one so I'll show you both of them and again both of us just this is terracotta tile gosh terracotta tile daffodil delight okay and she used the stripes and the presents here and I used the presents and the candles so the card is the same, just a little different colors and designer series paper that we used. I love this. Now, remember, this Meerkats, this is called the Gangs All Mirror, this stamp set you get free when you place a $50 order. And if you would like to place a $50 order with me, I would appreciate that. Here is my host code for the month. When it asks you for a host code, just put that one in there. Don't use that code if your order is over $150 because you're going to get some rewards. I want you to have them. But if your order is under $150, you don't get any rewards with it. So if you use this host code, that helps me out. That's what allows me to give away door prizes. That's how I can afford that. Here's my blog. Online ordering button in the right-hand column on my blog. Okay, so hang tight because we're not done yet. Um, and I also wanted, I was going to use this on here, but I forgot. But you could certainly use this free metallic baker's twine and sequin combo on this card instead of the ruched ribbon, too. So, and this is free with a $50 order. You can get this free with $50, this free with $50. Okay, now I'm going to put some of this stuff away so that we can do our next project. And before I lose these... Oh, I have to tell you guys a funny story. So, um, <clears throat> you know that right now, if you join my team, you can join as a business builder or as a discount shopper. Either way, it doesn't matter. But when you join my team, you're going to get the mini paper trimmer in your kit. It automatically comes. You're going to get this sampler pack of paper that Steve was talking about. And you get to choose any stamp set of your choice. I recommend that you make an expensive one, right? And um, your kit's $99. You get to choose $125 of anything you want. There's nothing predetermined in it. You get all three of these items. You get a paper pumpkin kit. It has a value that's pretty high. Um, all for $99, no shipping. You get to be part of my team. And my team is a lot of fun. But the funny thing that I wanted to tell you is I was searching all over today for the the honeybee stamp set because I plan on using that for a blog hop I'm in tomorrow. So make sure you check back on my blog because I'm going to have a real cute project there. I'm looking all over for that honeybee set and I cleaned up my whole studio. Cleaned off my desk, clean, put everything away. I did everything looking for this and guess where it is? Right there. <laughs> I just used the case to put a cover in here so I could show you that you get any stamp set of your choice. And here is my honeybee set. <laughs> yeah, my office is clean. Of course. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put some of this stuff away now so we can do the next card. I am going to be using another celebration set. I think you guys are going to love it. And let me get this put in here and this this and all of the scraps oh this was a one and three quarter inch punch by the way that's the size I use you don't have to use that size but I know sometimes you guys like to know what I use and I don't think I said that okay next my comments are not scrolling again tonight um, you guys so I'm missing a lot of things that are happening when you're commenting so if I miss a question please ask it again um, I apologize but it happens sometimes my computer will scroll and sometimes it just won't and I don't know why like it stays stuck there and I have to move it to get up <clears throat> all right we are going to be using the thoughtful blooms and the small bloom punch for the next card and where did my celebration brochure go right here 
So in our brochure, here on page 12 and 13, here's the stamp set and some really cute um, card ideas. Again, over here, more cute card ideas. And here is the punch. You can get the stamp set free with your $50 order. The punch requires a level two order of $100. So if you put in $150, you're gonna be able to get the punch and the stamp set. And I think you're gonna like what I have to show you tonight because it's pretty cute. Let me set these aside. We're kind of using the same color scheme again because again, it's very trendy. And where did the twine go? I need that. I was planning on using that on the last card, but I forgot. So we're see, it all is matchy matchy, which I love. And we're gonna do just a tiny bit of embossing too. Oh, I can't put that in there. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. I'm thirsty. Um, let's see. Janie says she got it and she loves it. Good for you. That's exciting. Okay. Uh, cardstock. Here we go. Here's my new cheat sheet. <laughs> I say cheat sheet because I do have to write down the measurements and stuff um, so I can give them to you guys because I don't, I can't remember. I can't remember anything really. I have some, I don't have any like I didn't have any trauma that I know of or anything like that. Like I have a head injury and I don't have any short-term memory. I just can't remember anything. It's I just can't. Hey, the Packers got another touchdown. They're not going to win, but they got a touchdown. I'm sorry, Packer fans. Makes me sad, but it's true. Okay. <laughs> Whisper White, thick cardstock, four and a quarter by 11. And I've already scored it here at five and a half. And we are going to burnish that edge good. And then I've got Bermuda Bay. And this piece is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then I've got Whisper White that is three and three quarters by five. Another piece of Whisper White that's one and a half by five. And again, all these will be posted above the video and also on my blog later tonight with these projects. So you can go take a look at them. I know sometimes it's hard to see in the video when I'm moving around and, you know, doing all the things. Okay. Um, then you're going to want a scrap of Bermuda Bay also and a scrap of Whisper White. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use the brick and mortar embossing folder. This is one of our 3D folders, a new one. So you're going to want to use this in your in your big shot with just the blue plate on top of it and one tab open if you have the tabs or that extra piece if you have just the plate that goes on, you know, that little thin adapter thing. Take that off, one blue plate on top. You're going to run this through the brick and mortar embossing folder and this is what it's going to look like. It looks like a brick wall and I just, I absolutely love this look. Okay, we're going to just set that aside for now. Um, we've got a couple other things to do here. We're going to be embossing on this Bermuda Bay layer. So, are you asking about this cardstock and this is Bermuda Bay? She says, what color green cardstock? It's Bermuda Bay. This is an embossing buddy, and this is your friend when you're embossing. When you put this on here, your embossing powder will only stick where you stamp. I'm going to bring out the congratulations, and I love this. I'll show this to you in just a second because it's pretty neat. Always close up your ink pad before you get your embossing powder out. I spilled embossing powder all over earlier today, so I'm still dealing with the aftermath. You guys have you guys have been there, haven't you? I just know it. And then I like to give it a nice puff. And look at how cute that is. Congratulations. I love these fonts. Okay, we're gonna close that up. Oops. Jamie gave me these bowls, and I'm still loving them, Jamie. They're really, really nice. She said she you can get them at Target. They're Systema. And they're very low profile and they stack up. So um, she made me one for all of our embossing powders. Okay, heat tool. Whoops, I got my cord is stuck someplace here. Here we go. 
Yes, that's the brick and mortar embossing folder. And there we go. Very cute. Oh, I think I put my punch away that I needed for that. <laughs> Here comes my punch. This is the classic label punch. I like this, and it matches up with all of our itty bitty greetings. So we're gonna do that. And now we're gonna do just a little bit of stamping. Hang on, I still have powder aftermath from earlier today. I'm going to take my Calypso Coral and the flower. There's a whole bunch of flowers and stems and leaves and some little polka dots and this little element. These are so, so nice. All these little elements, a lot of times people don't know what to do with them. But believe me, there's a ton of ideas to do with these. I'm just going to stamp Calypso Coral flowers and I'm just going to do a little bit of decorating on the inside here. Then I'm going to bring in my Bermuda Bay and the teeny weeny weeny little flower. Kansas City hasn't been to the Super Bowl in 50 years. So I have a little story for you guys. So um, I grew up south of Kansas City. I lived there till I was, I don't know, almost in middle school. And uh, my dad actually helped build the stadium. I don't know if they're still in, if Arrowhead is still the same stadium they were in back then. But if it is, my dad helped build it. So, yay. Yay, Dad. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So look at that. So we use this line flower. And then this teeny weeny one fits right in the middle. And that's just a neat little decoration for the inside of our card. Now we're going to take the white layer that is three and three quarters by five, and I am going to stamp a bunch of things. And we can certainly start with this one. Oh, I know. With the striped one, we're going to stamp a couple Calypso Coral on, whoops, that didn't turn out very good. There we go, that's better. And then we're going to clean the stamp. We're going to go with some... Bermuda Bay, clean the stamp again, and then we're going to hit our So Saffron. I want you to do, well, I want you, you're going to need two of each. I want you to do, you're going to need two of each if you're going to recreate this card. Ah, Jean says she lost the little flower. I'm sorry. I've lost stamps like that before, and oh, it's hateful. All right, we're gonna punch out all of these little flowers. Oh, we're gonna skip that one because it was kind of a mess. And these are super easy. To punch out. There we go. Now. We're going to flip them all over and add some dimensionals to the back. So you should have six flowers, whoops, six flowers, and many dimensionals fit best. Ah, uh, and Deb says she lost the leaf. Doggone it. Well, um, make sure you're mounting them on your blocks right away because I know that if I set stuff around, it's easy to lose if you don't have it on your block. I've done that. I've also found it stuck to the bottom of my ink pads or something else. Like just last week, I think that happened. The last week or the week before, that happened to me where I found it stuck to something. Okay, where did my stamp cleaner go? Oh, here it is. Okay, we're going to clean that off. Um, I think I already cleaned that one off. Let's clean this off. And now we're ready to roll with those little buggers. We're going to take this three and three quarter by five inch whisper white piece and I'm going to take this largest flower in Bermuda Bay and stamp off once. And I'm going to stamp a flower, stamp off once, stamp a flower. This just gives you a third generation of ink or a second, I mean a second generation of ink, not third. I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, let's use a different one here. We've got... We've got this other little flower here. We're going to do this one, and I'm going to stamp off and then stamp that. 
stamp off. I see I've got something on there. Hang on. Let's make it a little blurb. Oh, still got something on there. Now I got it. <laughs> now I've probably got ink all over my finger. And again. And again. Okay, so I'm just doing each flower three times randomly. Now I'm going to bring in the Sew Saffron. Oh, yeah. I've had dyes. Deborah says she lost her dyes. They were stuck to the bottom of her stamparatus. And she thought she was losing her mind. I had that, too, because they stick to the magnet, right? Oh, totally been there. Totally understand what you're saying. And now I'm going to do some Sew Saffron. And maybe one more up here. And then that cutie patootie little flower. This little tiny baby one. I'm going to come back in with a, with a bold color because it's very tiny. And just add some little Calypso Coral tiny flowers. This is not just really sweet, you guys. See, and that's what I was talking about when I was talking about little elements like this. A lot of people are like, oh my lord, I don't even know what to do with that. This is what you do. You just make pretty things. <laughs> okay, then, where is my, here's my um, piece. We're going to add this to our white layer. Does anybody, oh, here's my glue. Whoops. I'm gonna add this right over to the very far left side. And I just thought a brick wall would add some interest. I don't know. It was just a thing, and then I put it together, and it worked so good. I absolutely love the finished product, which I'll show you in just a second. So that little piece was uh, one and a half by five, but I never cut it to five. I just left the strip like it was. Here, let me. I need to clean this before I have a disaster, too. Okay. We don't want to lose any flowers, right? All right. Yeah, it does remind you of a Hawaiian lei, doesn't it? That's what, um, who just said that? Oh, and Donna just found her stamp in her breezeway. Good for you, on the bottom of your shoe. Well, it happens. All right, now where is, uh, do you guys see the um, bakers or the, um, the twine? Where did my combo pack go? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Combo pack, I have lost you. Do you guys see the combo? Oh, here it is. Look it. It was over here on the other side of my punch, over there on my desk. So I got it now. Okay, I think we're done with those too. I am going to bring out the Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to have it leave a tail right here so I can tie it in a bow. And I'm just going to wrap it around twice. Now, this is that metallic thread, and it's so, so pretty. So I left about that much. I'm going to leave about this much. You need, don't, don't cut yourself too short because you need enough for a little bow here. And I don't want it to be crossed over, so hang on. I'm real weird about that. <laughs> Are you guys weird about stuff like that, too? I don't know why, but I get real, like, oh, I don't want it to be crossed over. I like to tie my baker's twine in a knot because I don't want to fuss with it while I'm trying to tie a bow, keeping it tight. So if you can tie it on a knot, it doesn't add bulk like ribbon does. So it's kind of a good idea, I think. And now I'm going to tie a bow with what's left over here. Okay. There we go. All right, we got that. Um, here's my little congrat you -lations. Where, when did I, did you guys see me do that? I don't even know when I did that. Oh, probably when I was doing the Valentine thing, right? Yeah, probably. I'm like, when did I even use red ink? See, that's what I can't even remember when I used red ink. And then we're going to put this about, move that over a little bit, put this about right here. Isn't that cute? And then all these little flowers, where did my take your pick tool go? Right here. We are going to attach them over top of the flowers that we stamped. And it's just going to be a really, really cool look. 
It's a great way to, I mean, this is already pretty, right? But now it's just going to be so neat with these like 3D flowers all over it. I want, yep, here we go. A little Bermuda Bay. Uh, I'll do another little yellow one up there. Oop, that's a Bermuda Bay too. I oh, don't want to have those too close together. So let's pop that one off. We'll do that one there. This one here. And this one like maybe right there. Okay. You guys see that? Then we're going to add this to a Bermuda Bay layer. Just like that. Make sure, I, oops. <laughs> Make sure I get it on here straight. And last but not least, the sequins. What color ink? I am using So Saffron, Bermuda Bay, and Calypso Coral. And just know, you guys, that you can go back. Once this video is done and I'm not live anymore, I will post this video right to this Facebook page. And you can go back and watch it. You can fast forward it to where you need it to be to redo something. Or if you miss something, you can just go back and watch the start until you get to where you left off. But you can watch it after the fact. So if, if I happen to miss answering your questions, you can always go back and move fast forward up to that area to see the answer or to find out what I said. Okay, so I just added some dots of glue on my Whisper White card layer and I've got my Take Your Pick tool. This is the putty end and I'm just going in here and adding some of these adorable sequins in here. Oops. And that's what this tool is really good for is picking up these little pieces. I think I want another one right there because I didn't use, did I use, I didn't use the orange yet. I want to use that orange. And I've got this, I need it, I, 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 don't, I want the cupped side to be the side that's up. There we go. What is she doing? What is she doing with those? Okay, there we go. We are ready to assemble. Where is my card base? Right here. Here we go. Glue, do you see the glue? Over here, I threw it way over there. My glue must be stopped up. Hang on just a second. And I've got another color, another one that I made of this same card with a different mat and different twine on it that I'll show you in just a second. I think it's really pretty too. And put the lid back on your sequins. Close up your ink pad so you don't drop your cards in them, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I see. Is it Rocio Hernandez? You finally caught me live. Did the Packers get another touchdown? I told you, Aaron is the comeback king. Okay, so again, this is free with the $50 order, and there's no limit to how many free items you can get. If you spend $150, you can pick three free items. This is free. It's the um, Metallic Baker's Twine and Sequin Combo Pack, okay? The Thoughtful Blooms is free with a $50 order, and the Small Bloom Punch is free with a $100 order. Here is the super cute little card. Here's one where I used the So Saffron Baker's Twine. I used So Saffron for my sentiment layer and So Saffron for the layer under here. So what do you guys think? I think they're both adorable, don't you think? You could also take and add rhinestones to the centers of the flowers. That would even bling this up some more, right? Super, super cute. All right, then... Here is my fun fold card for the night. You guys know that I love fun folds. Like, it's my favorite. Oh, and I am in a swap that is on its way back to me. I'll probably get it on Tuesday of all fun folds. I'll get 21 fun folds in the mail. So I will have lots of fun folds to share with you guys. I see everybody's yelling, touchdown! I've got a commercial on here now. So here we go. Gift card holder right there. And then, last but not least, is this little post-it note holder. Post-it notes from Walmart by the Valentine stuff. And little gel pen. I got it years ago. I don't know where it came. Uh, I don't know where it came from. But anyways, 
this is a neat little alternative to candy. This would make a great little gift to give to your coworkers. That's kind of cool. Set this on their desk on Valentine's Day. Yeah. So, did I miss any questions, you guys? Um, don't forget, no matter whether you're watching live right now or on YouTube later, please share my video. There's a button to share on YouTube. Give me a thumbs up. Click that like button. All of this stuff helps me in sharing and spreading the word about my videos um, and my stamping business. And this is my full-time job, so I really appreciate any way you can help me. If you would head over to my blog, www.estampabove.com, later tonight I will have still photos of these projects on there, all of the dimensions, and there's going to be a complete shopping list that tells you that this is Calypso Coral and... This is the ruched ribbon and how you can buy the trimmer, the paper trimmer, and the um, classic label punch. You can click on any of those items. It'll take you right to my online store if you would like to place an order. Now, if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love, love, love to earn your business. I work really hard for you. Um, pop me an email. My email is kelly at estampabove.com, and I would be happy to send you a catalog all of our catalogs, but please, when you pop me that email, don't forget to include your address, number one. Number two, tell me if you need all the catalogs, or maybe you already have the annual catalog, and all you need is the mini catalog. This is our spring mini catalog. Um, or maybe you have this, but you don't have our celebration brochure. So, spring mini, celebration, annual catalog, I will mail all of them to you. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be happy to do that. And if you do have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, give her, you know, give her a call and ask for some catalogs. I'm sure she'd be happy to give them to you. I don't want to be stealing business from anybody. But if you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business because you need a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm telling you. <laughs> there she goes, getting bossy, right? All right. So make sure you share my video. Click on that like button. I really appreciate it. All those things are helpful. What else can I tell you? Oh, I know. I had something funny to tell you. Um, Steve's big thing is, I can't remember what I did the other day, but I said something kind of smart alecky to him. And he's, oh, I posted something on Facebook. What was it? It was something kind of smart alecky about him. He comes in the house. He's like, you better watch what you're posting or I'll be gone. Someone's got a nicer kitchen, a barn dominium, and 80 acres of land. I'm out of here. Like, somebody else has that, he's leaving. <laughs> if I don't be nice to him. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. He's such a comic. Um, always a laugh a minute around here. I'm looking through your comments right now, you guys. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Susan says, thank you for another fun-filled night. I so appreciate you guys. Um, watching my Facebook lives like it really makes my week and I feel I feel um deserted and alone when I don't get to do a Facebook live so going on vacation pretty soon is going to be super fun but I'm going to miss you guys a lot because I really enjoy this um I wanted to tell you too I will be live again on the 26th um Sunday night 7 p.m but then on the weekend of the first I am not going to be live on the second so I'll see if I can get together a Facebook live not live and some of you that are new might be going what the heck is she talking about so a Facebook live I'm going to turn you guys around a Facebook live not live because I don't like talking to the back of your head <laughs> that's what I feel like I'm talking to the back of your head Facebook Live, not live, is where I go on a private page and I record a Facebook Live just like you saw here tonight, but nobody's watching me. And then I will um, upload it to YouTube and I will post it at 7 p.m. Central Time right here on this Facebook page so that you still have the Kelly Show to watch, right? Um, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. It's not as fun as being live because I, I won't be there to answer your questions. But you can leave questions on YouTube, and I'll go through them and make sure that, you know, if you do have a question. But I have to tell you, it's kind of tricky because I don't really get the notifications that you've left a comment or a question on. I mean, I get the co I, comments. I go through and look at them. But if you have a question, I guess this is a better way to say it. If you have a question that you need an answer to, the best way is to email me, kelly at estampabub.com. The next best way is to message me on Facebook, private messenger. Um, some people will go to my site and they will message me there. And 
I don't check those as regularly as I check my emails. My phone notifies me right away if I have a private message come in on my messenger. So it's tricky because there's all these places, right? I have people that are texting me, that are private messaging me, that are emailing me, that are leaving comments on YouTube. Some people leave comments on my blog. Sometimes they're questions. It's really, really hard to... Um, to answer all of them. Now, I see Connie is asking, she loves the 3D flowers, but won't they get flattened out? No, because there's a dimensional under there that keeps them popped up. These go through the mail and they stay like that. I don't know if you can see that dimension in there or not, but they will stay like that. I'm looking at my hair like, what's going on with my hair? <laughs> I hope, look, it's 20 to 34 now. There's five minutes left in the fourth quarter. What time is it? I don't know what time it is. Oh, it's 8.30 already. I did pretty good. That's, we made, we had some fun, right? Yeah. All right. What else can I tell you? I think that just about does it. Um, oh, I know. Oh, coordinating products. Okay, you guys, coordinating products are coming. And if you love the ladybug set you can get that with a $300 order now I'm doing a Facebook party right now I just went what no yeah Facebook party for one of my very longtime customers because she really wants that ladybug set so we made a private group and I invited she invited all her friends into this private group and I am posting stuff on there throughout the next week so that she can get orders accumulated to get the ladybug set She's super excited, and I am too. So if anybody else would like to do a Facebook party, it's a virtual party. Nobody has to come to your house or anything. We just do it on Facebook, and I popped in and did a Facebook Live for them, and I post videos and, and um, all kinds of fun stuff. There's door prizes. There's all kinds of fun stuff going on there. If you'd like to have one of those parties, let me know. I'd be happy to set one up for you. And then I want to talk to you about the coordination. Oh, let me... Um, let me mirror my screen again. The coordination product release that is coming out, I think on February 4th. So we've got, where'd my calendar go? We've got a little, oh, here it is. We've got about a couple weeks. The ladybug set is going to have coordinating dyes. Whoops, there we go. Dyes to go with it, as well as some of the other um, celebration items and the uh, mini mini catalog items. We have some coordinating products that are happening. So watch for that. I just got my, oh, I know. I just got my ladybug set. Where did she go? Here she is. I got the happy birthday to you coordinating dies. I got the sending flower dies. Look how fun those are. Yeah. And then I got my ladybug set and guess what? I forgot to order the dies. <sighs> How does that even happen, right? I think that was the whole reason I put the order in too. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what happens there? But anyways, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope that you have a wonderful week. And um, Bev, Bev Ann says she got the ladybugs with her huge order. I know I did too. For those of you that um, purchased my Tropical Oasis kit class, I have, I'm going to be working on that on Monday as soon as I get done doing my stamp clubs. I have a stamp club Monday night and Tuesday night, so I have to get my products cut up and ready to go for those. Then I'll be working on that kit class. I'm hoping to get them out in the mail on Tuesday. I for, forgot last week that it was a holiday tomorrow, so that kind of delays things. But um, I have all the product here. It just came in, and I'll get all those kits put together and out in the mail to you. Hi, Amy. Okay, I'm going to let you go. I have to pee. Too much information? Perhaps. But, you know, keeping it real. <laughs> Goodbye from Menasha, Wisconsin. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you so much. Have a great week. Bye-bye.